Hey guys, how's it going? As I said before that I am going to review either a movie, TV show, or movie trailer. So for today's episode, I decided I'm going to review 2019's The Addams Family. When I first saw the teaser trailer, my heart jumped for joy because I love The Addams Family with all my heart in general. And the official trailers to it was just the icing on top of the cake. And when I saw the movie the weekend of my birthday, I was so beyond excited that, hey, it was worth it. I've seen it twice um, back in October because that's when my birthday was. And so what most people were kind of confused about was like, why are these characters, you know, designed oddly? But what most people don't know is that the characters themselves is paying an homage to Charles Adams' 1930s New Yorker cartoon of the Adams Family. So he wanted them to be, or the characters, he wanted to be different and oddly shaped as strange and unusual. So I'm going to do a little bit of a summary for this movie. So the movie itself is basically an origin story about how Gomez and Morticia got married. They were ran out of their old country and they moved to a new country, new world. And they moved to New they moved to New Jersey to an abandoned abandoned asylum where they started their life, had Wednesday and Pugsley, and everything else that goes to it. What I love about this movie is that it pays an homage um, to 1991's The Addams Family and a scene where Gomez asks Morticia and he asks her, are you unhappy, my darling? And she said, yes, completely. That was the second great thing. I was like, oh, my heart. And then the other one would be when Gomez was teaching or trying to teach Pugsley about the mazurka. And so the mazurka, I believe, was a tribute to the mamushka of 1991's The Adams Family. So I thought, okay, that's a little nice tribute. So yeah. And then towards the end of the movie, um, before the credits, yeah, right before the credits, they play the opening of ABC's The 1960's The Addams Family with the whole... It was beautifully done. So, yeah. So, I give this movie a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. If you love The Addams Family, go watch this. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And so, I have something that you guys can do. So for next week, I'm going to let you guys choose a show that I'm going to think about giving out to you. It's a CW show that's a hit, and I'm, I'm a complete, total geek at this show on CW, and it's a fan favorite. And the other one to review would be a two-on-one movie. So let me go ahead and just demonstrate it or show you. Comment below of uh, The Flash. So with The Flash, I love The Flash. My favorite season would have to be season five when Jessica Parker Kennedy starred as Nora West Allen, the daughter of Barry and Iris. And I just, I just love the show. I completely fell head over heels with um, Grant Gustin's acting and the cast too. And my favorite nod of season five was when Earbath Thawne basically nods to Nor as Dawn, hence as the Tornado Twins, Dawn and Dawn. Yeah, it's twisted. So, yeah, so pick any season of The Flash, any episode, and I'll be happy to give my reviews about that. And the other choice would be 1991's The Addams Family and 1993. The Adams Family values. What I love about the what I love about the Adams Family is that values was actually my first memory as a kid. My first memory was Baby Puber. He was um, he was catapulted from the roof. Um, yeah, he was catapulted from the house to the rooftop to wave hi at Wednesday's enemy. 
And so that's kind of where I developed the whole dark, macabre, sense of humor type. And I forever love the Adams Family and it's ever cherished and it will always be number one to me. So comment below on which one should I do. Sorry about that. Should I review the Adams Family movie? It is oh so great. Or the Flash of Andy episode seasons so there you go so comment below and hopefully i can get something going on by next week again so thank you for tuning in have a great one bye